Hey everybody, welcome to another bunch of reviews. Today we're looking at a Emerson Gear 1.5 inch shooter belt in multicam. Uh, this is the one off Amazon and probably numerous other locations. It's got the little uh, gold Cobra buckle here in the front. And boy is it ever gold. Very, very shiny, kind of rose gold color. Um, way shinier than I expected. I thought it was more of an FDE. Boy, was I mistaken. Um, belt is multicam, pretty heavy duty webbing. Uh, what they've done though, if they've really just taken two uh, strips of webbing and sandwiched uh, them together with some like high density, like plastic reinforcement in the center, and then covered it with multicam, and then one inch multicam webbing all the way around in order to connect it to this buckle. And, man, this is kind of a wonky belt, guys. So, <clears throat> like I said, uh, this is the Emerson Gear uh, Hard 1.5-inch shooter belt. Uh, this is item number uh, Echo Mike 9250 Mike Uniform. Uh, this is the XL. Of course, made in China for Emerson Gear. And this thing's a little weird. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, when I got this in, I was messing around with it. Just not what I was expecting. And uh, one of the biggest things that I, I just find to be so funky is, one, the adjustment. Uh, when you get it, it is completely undone. Uh, this buckle is hooked in together here, and then the belt is in two parts. So I'll just kind of show you how it comes to you. Uh, it'll come to you like this with the one inch all the way out. Uh, the one inch looks to be real multicam one inch, though. That is kind of interesting. Uh, but it comes like this, and then you got to feed it through. And this is how you adjust it. You'll feed your one inch uh, through this little faux cobra uh, buckle here, and then bring it back down, and then you tighten and adjust, and then use this elastic to kind of take in that bitter end of the webbing. But this is what's funky. So when you get it all together, look at look at that. What ah? So there is this elastic keeper on this end, and I was kind of at a loss as to what exactly that's for. Only thing I can think is it's to kind of police up that webbing right there. Problem with that is once you kind of have that all done up, once you put this belt on though, you really can't do that. You can't uh, police that up like that. So it's a little weird, kind of funky. Uh, it looks like that's how it should be done. Theoretically, that's how it should be done, but I can't really understand if that's the way it's intended to be done. <sighs> so, when you get the belt on, it is kind of wonky and weird. Like I said, it wants to flop around on you. And even when you get it in that elastic, it still kind of has this really weird flex point right in the center, uh, right under that buckle. The buckle's not tight at all, and that is kind of an issue. Um, I intend to run this not separately in my pants and not as a uh, load-bearing belt per se. I was intending to actually run this inside of the PTAC belt outer shell that I have. That was it's the one that's the copy of the Cry that I have reviewed already. And I had said at the end of that review that I was going to try to make that kind of like a project belt because it was so much garbage, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I did a little experimenting with that, and I took the uh, AWS belt that I recently had picked up because uh, it was slicked out. I hadn't put all the modeling panels on yet, and I put it inside the uh, PTAC, and I was like, okay, this this might work. I think it's going to work good. So I was just looking around, and I was trying to find the, a fairly inexpensive uh, slick belt on Amazon uh, that I could run inside the PTAC, and I had found this Emerson, so I got it. Uh, it was a little over like 30 bucks, and I thought, okay, let's see if this will work. And uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too impressed with this. Uh, the rigidity is nice uh, for what it is, but it's still not that rigid. I mean, it is multiple layers of webbing sewn together with this like stiffener, but it still is really flimsy and really flexible. And I take something like uh, the AWS. It is not as rigid and flexible as this guy. Yeah, or not as it's more rigid. It's not as flexible, and it's just one layer. 
Oh, it's two layers. But still, it's it's a different material, and it's just better. This is much thicker. It's even heavier than the AWS, and it's still more um, pliable than the AWS. So that that's kind of kind of sucks. And, and and mind you, I don't expect the world from something like Emerson. I really don't. But I kind of didn't expect this. So that is kind of funky and weird. And like I said, guys, uh, when you get this on, that weird flexibility that happens, that that twisting. Look at look at that. That that shouldn't be. That's not right. I don't understand that. So the only thing I can think is you you must. They must be expecting you to put this uh, bitter end here back through this elastic to kind of control that. It's the only thing I can think is once you get that in there, uh, you still have a little bit of that motion, but it doesn't do it as bad. It's not as crazy travel uh, when you're wearing it, but I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not as impressed. Um, I'm going to run it inside the PTAC and see kind of how it looks and how it works. And maybe it'll be a little better when it's inside the PTAC um, outer casing. The molly casing but so far i'd have to say um if you were looking at getting this um this emerson uh, 1.5 inch shooter belt to uh, run um i'd say probably steer clear because this thing is really not that great so uh, that's all i got guys hope you got something out of this review and this uh video and yeah i i wish i could have brought you a belt that said hey pretty cool uh but yeah no nope, not this one anyway until next time, get out there, guys. Play some airsoft, fly up hard. Uh, try a different kit. Win some, you lose some. I'll see you in the next one.